For the past three years, this has been Shane Emini's bedroom. I fell five metres um, and severed my spinal cord. The newly paralysed 48-year-old was placed in emergency housing, the small motel room in New Plymouth. It's no longer temporary. Like, I am, at some stage I'll get somewhere, but yeah, you just don't even look to that day. You just live each day. And before you know it, you go, yeah, three years. Shane and his 10-year-old son Liam share a bed because there's no space for another mattress. I make the most of it, um, but it's not a home. You know, it's a tight space. My bed becomes my couch, my sleeping area, my everything. In February, Kainga Ora offered Emini a two-bedroom house, but he can't move in because building work to make it wheelchair accessible still hasn't started. It's extremely tough, you know, like being... In a para, as a paraplegic, no sensation, dealing with health issues. My health has actually deteriorated while I've been in here. Brian Erickson, Community Housing Action Taranaki Chairman, says there's a desperate need for housing in the area, especially for those in wheelchairs. There's a few people that have spent over three years in, in motels, temporary accommodation. It's pretty tough. Kainga Ora says Emini can't move into his new home until ACC completes the work needed. ACC says it's hoping to start in the next few months. So until then, this is what he has to call home. It's not a home. I don't, I don't get to relax in other areas. You know, I don't know what that feels like as a paraplegic. Mm -hmm.